a government perspective where we did not make the safeguard agreement yet is probably the biggest issue that we are facing as industry, not only as ArcelorMittal. It is detrimental to the downstream is the view of government to impose additional safeguards. So with that being said, we have started a process to involve the downstream in detail, whereby jointly we will go to government. So there will be a big effort for us as a team with the downstream industry to jointly go to them and then hopefully find a solution that's workable for South Africa and for the entire industry. If you look at the stats, in 2015, 1.3 million tons of imports. It marginally went down to 1.2 million tons last year. It's still a quarter, 25%, 24% to be exact, of our domestic consumption is still imports. And this is the area, this one million ton is when you have a low GDP that you need to ensure that you get it from your own production in South Africa. As the world took heavy penalties against Chinese dumping taking place in their country, 70, 75 odd countries, really penalizing them very heavily. I fear that those countries with no protection will be targeted with this 200 to 100 million over capacity. And we fear that we will see more and more of imports taking place into Africa, the market that we work, and South Africa as well. So that's part of the threat that we have there. And hence the drive from us and from industry uh, to really protect the local industry. We haven't committed to government on volumes or a particular deal that's favorable to us or to them. It's simply a few legs. One is that we came to an agreement on pricing on our, long st on our flat steel products, whereby we effectively price regulated on our, on our pricing. It talks to a basket, international, and we can share with you the detail. Uh, which we have shared in July, but it talks to an international basket. We follow that very closely. Government is actually auditing us on a monthly basis to ensure that we follow. And that's part of the plea that we have to the downstream industry to say, bringing some safeguards will not at all lead to higher prices from ourselves because our price is regulated. So it's actually fighting the influx of low-cost material into this country.